Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's a fine Saturday morning for me here. Today we're going to work on the hammer ray again. Last time we ran this, I locked the differential. It made a big difference as far as keeping it in a straight line. But the tip over ability, well, it was able to do that a lot. Okay? So, I picked up some of these uh, spacers here, which may help or may not. I, I may need to get, like, extra axles and bearings and stuff. These are pretty damn heavy and it gives it 15 millimeters right here, okay? We should uh, widen the stance quite a bit. I mean, it doesn't body roll wise, there isn't that much of that. I mean, it's pretty solid, right? So, let's take a measurement. On the front, we're looking at 12 and 3 quarter right now. So, we'll go ahead and put these uh, wheel spacers on the front and see what kind of a difference we'll have. I got the uh, extenders on and as you can see it made a big difference. Went from like, uh, what did I say, 12 and 3 quarter to about 13 and 3 quarter. So, I gave it about an inch wider stance but if you're to look close, the only thing I see that might be an issue be a lot of stress on these knuckles with the wheel sticking out so far. You know, because those are, well, they're just plastic, but you know, the plastic is made to hold up under abuse, so it may give, it may not. I may end up having to put knuckles on it. So let's go ahead, I'm going to flip this around, we're going to do the rear, and uh, then we'll go, I'll show you how they go on, they go on like really easy, I mean just take the old hex off, right, and just put these on, and you can still keep the old, you know, fake rotors, so, so that's, a, that's a plus I guess, let's take a look. Alright, so yeah, you just take the wheel off like always these are actually on there really tight when I rock ray they were all loose uh, totally self-destructed the wheels on them alright so we got this remember rear differential is locked now so gotta have the other wheel off the ground Just pull the pin out. And I found the front pins were loose, and so are the rear looks like. That's all right. We're gonna we're gonna lock tight those in. Do that now, so I don't forget. And just a matter of just putting this one on. Put the pin back in. Tighten it down. Slap that wheel on, it's done. And I can already tell the difference. Alright, so if you were to look at this, You see how close this wheel is to the body right here? And on this side, now, I can fit almost two fingers between there. So, that ought to make a huge difference. I'm going to go ahead and do this side, and uh, I think we may, we may need to run it. Okay, so they're all on right here, and I wasn't sure if I had the camera on from before, but here it is, okay? 12 and 3 quarter before, 13 and 3 quarter now. So again, the inch. Inch should make a big difference. And, uh, you know, the uh, the knuckles right here, you know, depending on, because it, because the, like say if you hit bumps or whatever, now there's uh, more leverage doing the, like that. 
uh, may break this but we're not sure I got the batteries on the charger right now when they're done cooking uh, we're gonna take her outside okay so after I put these wheel extenders in you can see that there's the stance is much wider on this thing and uh, I'm hoping that it won't tip over near as easy so uh, let's give it a shot and see what happens Oops. Well, it still tips over, but not near like it used to. And a lot of times, you go into a turn and just nail it. And if it does a fishtail, and back it comes. Could ask for more than that. Oh, okay, one time. <clears throat> Too much break. That was cool. Let's do that again. <laughs> okay so it still tips over yeah uh but i think what we can do we can get some more weight down on these wheels maybe go with aluminum wheels right here and uh maybe a farther dish out a little bit a little bit more and uh that might help. Helped a lot on the Rockray, and I ran that on a 6S. So, 
This is only on 3S. And it, it's becoming so much fun, I just don't want to stop running it now. Learning to drive a little different. And you go into them corners, just pin the throttle. There's a fishtail, instead of tipping over. But if I get the timing wrong, that's different. This thing does fly for being a, on 3S. And I believe that's what it is. I get the timing wrong. I was used to driving it the other way. <clears throat> but um, if I don't hit that throttle at the right time, it will go over. Or if the brake works too good. Well, that one didn't work. I tried that. Okay, almost all the time. So let's check and see what kind of damage, if there's any. Anything come loose? Anything like that, as long as it's on its back. All right. May have a wheel nut that came loose here, but other than that. Steering's holding up. Yeah, I think we're good. It's all right. Two upgrades. Lock the rear differential. And I widened the stance. It made a big difference on this thing. If uh, you have one of these trucks and you thought about maybe doing something like this, or if you're just frustrated with the part where it tips over all the time, um, here's something you can do. Lock that differential and widen them wheels out. And it helps. It makes it a whole lot more steady. So. If you do anything like this to your truck, let me know. If you have one of these trucks and you've done it already, let me know. Let me know how it turned out for you. And uh, there'll be more coming on this truck, I'm sure. But so far right now, the upgrades have been really cheap. You know, I mean, under 30 bucks. So you can't ask for more than that. If I get wheels and tires, that's gonna be more obviously, but you know, it works good. Yeah, it would have tipped over doing that right there before. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm still having to go pick it up, but you know, I only have one truck that really doesn't tip over. And, and that would be the Losi Tenacity. That thing, you really have to try and tip it over. But now it's overpowered, so it goes much faster. It does tip over a little bit easier. All right. So, if you like this content, let me know. If you wanna see more, let me know. Remember to like, subscribe, it's free. Only thing that's free. And uh, this is RC Mechanic. I'll catch you on the next video. Who knows what we'll do this next. But I got like four other trucks I'm working on right now, so uh, something will come up. All right. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.